Hospital staff in Bahrain let their frustrations out. They've seen firsthand the results of the regime's bloody crackdown on protesters. Dozens have been injured and several killed since the protests began on the 14th of February. But undeterred, anti-government demonstrators have reclaimed Pearl Square. We returned in victory. We won't be scared off by the security forces. On the contrary, it makes us more determined. We are here for one reason, the fall of the regime. After holding a candlelight vigil for those killed in the clashes, hundreds of people spent the night on the square. The weather is so cold. We step with no, nothing on the ground. Just our we wear right now. As you see here, we are there was ladies with their kids, a families here. We are not just gentlemen here. Everybody stay here. And the protests have spread. Many parts of the country have been paralyzed by a general strike. On Sunday, schools stayed closed. The purpose of this sit-in is to show our unity with the Bahani people in order to achieve our demands. Bahrain's 70% Shiite Muslim majority has long felt shortchanged by the ruling Sunni dynasty. After a week of protests, the royal family is beginning to show cracks in its armour. The Crown Prince has now offered to start a national dialogue with opposition parties in a bid to defuse the current unrest.